well so it is image came from uh, where this image came from we have created the same website using elementor just by dragging and dropping so here see this is a this is a video that refers to it we have created it from scratch and uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to convert this image into html and css i have just changed the color so that these two images does not match matlab what i meant is you see this is the same image this i have created with elementor and this i have created from scratch using html and css once you look at the thumbnail both of them are of same image so to make a difference what i just did is i just converted or i just changed the color from purple to bluish that is the only difference everything is going to set everything is going to be same now let's start so the font and the font we are going to use is roboto sorry oswald uh poppins and verla round is a font we are going to use in some cases we are going to use oswald as well and uh, then we have google font uh, font or some icon which is the version 4 in case if we need it we'll just get it or search it from here to get the desired font or some icon now let's work on the html so this is the internal awesome sorry i have added the font family on heading it is different and for all other than heading it is going to be poppins fine now let's work on the heading section we have header inside header we have div two divs we'll name it as call we'll make it contact header this is the first call and this is the second call here it is going to be the paragraph with company at email.com and the second paragraph is going to be the phone number plus 91 This is not my phone number. Just for the name, it's going to be support and FAQ. I'm going to add the font or some icons. Fine. You see, this is how it looks. Now, what we need to do is let's work on contact header, which is an ID. Inside contact header, we have column. inside column we have paragraph so to differentiate it what we can do is colon yant child 1 this is for first column and this is for second column we just have to pass two right now padding 20 pixel background i have i have a uh, copy the color it's over here and let's add the color as white so if you refresh body where this margin is coming from let's check yes we have removed it it uh, has some kind of question mark over here i just removed it fine now you see this is how it looks now what we need to do is we have to make a container
So I have to paste this inside container. We need to give the closing of container is here. So let's get the container. And uh, this container will have width of 1200 pixel. And uh, margin 0 and auto. So this will be at the center. So we get space. If we want, we can make it 900 also. We'll make it 1000. Close. No, 1100. Let's check. Great. Close, you see. And this is step is because of the elementor. We don't want to make this. We'll directly start it from here. Display flex. Now on the first column we have two paragraph display flex So this is first column this is for second column and we have got display flex to this as well width of 100 percentage no this width should not be 100 percentage now what we need to we have already given this we don't have to give it again so what is really happening is this is first column company name So display flex is working perfectly for first column and uh, for these two columns column these two columns the container should have display flex that is a uh, issue we got now it's working and uh, flex sorry justify content space between that's cool now on the first we have paragraph margin right of 20 pixel that's cool you see we are, co we are close except the font size 40 pixel Great. Now work on second thing. The same way. It is going to be menu. We have a container over here. This container is only applicable for the first one. And for common container, this is going to be same. Let's have menu. Inside menu. We need container. Inside container. We need three section. Which is going to be logo box. Open the image. then on the second column we have links 
we'll have a link container and then we have final column we have one icon and uh, the other icon great what i did is i just changed the links and added the font or some icon now let's work on the menu section we have menu then inside we have a container then we have column then on the first column colon nth child one we have logo box let's check the spelling that we have image the same way we have second column we'll add the first column as well inside the second column we have link container inside the link container we have anchor tag then we have third column so inside the third column we have anchor tag again you can make you can choose the anchor tag either it is nth child 1 or 2 Now if you see, we'll just first we'll just adjust the image. Where is the image? So here width of 100 percentage max width. So you have to give width to the container with C. So let's add the background light blue. is how it looks then regular padding of 20 pixel on all sides then we have container display flex and for the first column the width is going to be one two and three the width is going to be 50 the second column the width is going to be 30 and the third column the width is going to be 20 now if you refresh it's actually the percentage great now let's have the width of the logo box full close now let's work on things we want you can make it 40 and this one would be 40 color white we'll have display flex and uh, justify content 
सिक्सटी कंटेंट वॉट फ्लेक्स स्टार्ट फ्लेक्स Flex start is not available. You have to make justify content flex start. Flex end in this case because we want it to be at the right. Great. Now what we need to do is anchor tag. Let's add a margin right. Ten pixel. pixel text transform capitalize and then uh, to remove the underline text decoration none see this is seems to be too much why don't we make it 40 60 and we'll make this 10 great we are close for all element the font weight should be 600 cool Let's work on the color white. Display flex and uh, justify content. Uh, flex end so that it is at the start. We want it to the end. Great. margin right and for the second one padding 20 pixel background we add the reddish border radius Fifty percentage. Let the width be thirty pixel, and let the height be thirty pixel. And uh, to make it at the center, line height. Should be equal to the height and the text align center to vertically align. Sorry, to horizontally align. Line height. So height is missing. align center to vertical align sorry horizontally align line height equal to the height to vertically align almost same now let's check the inspect where we made mistake What I just did is I just removed the padding and I just increase the height. Now, I 
get into the column third column and let's add vertical align middle we have to use align item instead of vertical align so we are using flex the same way for the second column Great. Close. Let's check. So we are close, except the font size. So we can make it. So you see, we will have on the banner section. Create ID with banner. Insert it as container. Insert container it as two column. The first column will have anchor tag with font or some icon then we have h3 some text then we have paragraph lorem sum of let's say 30 words and then we have anchor tag anchor tag as a button view details with icon so this is the first one the second column we'll have image box and then we have image tag dot png so if I refresh, this is how it looks. Let me fill the content. Great, I have fixed the filled the content. Now let's work on the CSS. We have banner. Then inside we have container. Then inside we have column, which is a class. Then inside call we have anchor tag heading and then we have paragraph and again we have again an another an attack colon last child and then we have second column so this is the first column colon nth child 1 then we have second column inside the second column we have image box then inside image box we have image tag Great. Now let's work on it. The banner will have min height of 400 pixel. Then it has a background image. Its URL. Background image. Here it is. Image dot JPG. Say very This is how it looks whatever it has it should have color of white either it is all it includes anchor tag as well now the container display flex to have two columns we'll make this width of 50 percent each equal width display flex and we can make flex places both are going to be same and uh, we have given the width now the second column has an image let's add width to it 
100 percentage max width 100 percentage refresh it let's check where we made a mistake the first column has width 50 percentage let's start again front doesn't seem to work so let's manually give the width to the image for 400 pixel Actually, max width is not applied. We have given what image box hard refresh. See, there is a mistake over here. There is somewhere anchor tag is missing. Sorry, opening anchor tag is there. Yes, here it is. Just close it. Now this should work. I try to give the color to differentiate it. Let me remove it. I don't think the width is required. Great. Now we'll work on this. We have the column. We'll make it. We already have display. Flag. We'll make a display flash again for the inner content. Justify content center align item center. Now this would be at the center of the column. If you see, don't forget to add a flex direction column one one below the other. You can see now it's at the center. We don't want it at the center. Let's check the height banner. Cool and in the banner we have container in the container we have column and it is flexed align center if I remove justify if I remove align item align item doesn't work that's all right now we have to work on the each and visual so let's copy this style paste this to the anchor tag this is going to be 60 60 colon nth child 1 first anchor tag text align center great font size 20 pixel 40 pixel Paragraph is all right. Finally, the button background, the red color padding, top bottom 10 pixel, left right 20 pixel, color as usual white. display in line block and let's give the width 40 percentage text align center it's 
list of 30 or make it 30 okay great now let's add for heading margin bottom pixel the same is for parallel let's add this to the anchor tag as well great close if you want you can make the automate a bit of pixel close if you want you can modify it but I'm not going to do it it will be time cut zero just to remove the underline you can have text decoration none that's it now we are going to work on this section only the title and uh, paragraph we'll have id with headings and inside that we need a container inside that we need again inner container why we need inner container because you see it is at this particular width and then we have history again with some text and uh, we have paragraph with lorem ipsum of 30 now if I refresh, this is how it looks. Let me fill the text first. Fine. Now if you see, the container has perfectly altered. Now we have heading. Inside heading we have container. Inside container we have inner container. Inside inner container, we have H3 and paragraph. Now, the, the reason for writing this is there won't be any overriding stuff. Now, let's work on inner container width of 70 percentage, margin 0 and auto. Now, it will be open at the center. We don't need the container because we will take the same max width and the margin. We'll just add text align center. ID heading column in our container. Inner container is not applied. Style inner container style of inner container is not applied. Why is that? Actually, its headings will make it heading. Great. Now it should work. Great. If you see, we just need two lines, so we'll take three words from there. To add a margin, top bottom 20 pixel, 50 pixel, great, the H3 font size of 30 pixel, margin bottom 20 pixel. Great. Now let's work on this section. We'll give the ID of grid. Inside grid we have container. Inside container we have column. Inside column we have again inner column this is this column is for spacing and uh, 
box shadow and this plug is for content which holds we need a paragraph which will have i tag i contact and then we have h4 again some text and then we have paragraph with lorem tin text and finally we have anchor tag with view details and icon let me type it so if you see i have added 1 2 3 4 now we need four times columns great again we need to copy the same thing and paste it again so that's cool now let's work on the css we have grid inside grid we have container inside container we have column inside column we have inner column inside inner column we have paragraph then we have heading 4 heading with level 4 then we have again paragraph then we have anchor tag so this is an icon so we will make it colon nth child 1 great container will be the container as it is just add display flex to the container that would work great now let's add margin bottom of 50 pixel to get the gap between two rows great now we'll have column we'll give margin right of 20 pixel box shadow 1 pixel 1 pixel 1 pixel black and let's add padding on all those types top bottom left right now to see this is how it looks almost similar and it padding slightly closer now we have icon font size 30 pixel just as good as it looks 40 will be perfect I believe then we have to give heading again the font size let's give 20 and see font size sorry padding top bottom left right great margin bottom of 20 pixel which would be too much I believe let's make 10 pixel and check all right we don't need margin bottom for the last one here 
paragraph is just three lines but four lines we have so let's remove a line great now if you see we'll add margin bottom 25 and check almost there now let's add the color of the paragraph which is not black which is dark blue text decoration none so almost close just to change the box shadow then that would have definitely fit great paste it now that's cool if you want you can add the font weight to the anchor tag great we have added the font weight now it's close just the font size for just the icon need to be changed which i'll leave it to you now let us work on this section we, we are going to ignore the carousel section you know it is really very simple if you have understood this so let's work on this so it is going to be the call to action cta section hash cta <coughs> then we will a container inside container we now have column so this is the first one So the first column should have inner column and uh, this inner column will have the H3 some text form group class and then we have input field with text class form control placeholder will type likewise we need a 2 3 4 and finally input type submit class submit and we need value so let me type the text so before that let's add this inner column in the inner column we have image image box it's a class inside image box we have image co.jpg then we have a paragraph lorem of 35 words then we have again another paragraph with my name and then a span tag we have k t r great now let's see how does it looks great let me type the text great now let's style this call to action button has container container has column class 
inside column we have inner column this is nth child 1 and this is going to be nth child 2 nth child what inner column will have h4 and uh, we have form group class and we have controls and then we have submit class it is actually control or controls then on the second we have image box inside image box we have image inside image inside actually image box should close over here after we have paragraph inside paragraph we have second paragraph inside paragraph we have span tag great now let's style this we want the whole div to have min height 400 pixel background url is going to be image.jpg now the container will have display flex and uh, flex basis or the width is going to be 50 percentage or let's make it for the first column and the second column colon nth child first column and this is going to be the second column 30 70 let's give the image width of max with 100% of the image now that suits well let's give margin bottom 200 pixel just to see some speeds below or oh, let's make it 500 great now let's start styling min height great now to see 30 and 70 for the first inner column we'll take the color background color hash edv width is going to be 100% padding is going to be 30% color is going to be black and the background is 
going to be red not actual red but this color if it is h4 it should work it's h3 So it is white and text align center to make it at the center font size thirty pixel. Great, the inner column will have border radius of 20 pixel on all four sides. Great, so whatever it has, it should be text aligned center. Now let's add the same border radius to the heading as well border radius top great we should give top left and top right I see this is how it looks let's give the height to the inner column same 400 pixel margin top minus 20 pixel great minus 40 great then let's have the margin top of 70 pixel now let's make it 100 great if you want you can make minus 140 and just check it's too big 100 almost right Margin top 120, 140, right, see it's working, now we have form group, margin top of 10 pixel, this will have padding, Uh, this is an input field so border colon 0 outline colon none that uh, is too much I believe top bottom 7 So let's make the width 80 percentage of the input field not for this guy we'll make this width as 100 percentage but for form group form for form controls we have width of 80 percentage great that is working for form group width is going to be 100 percentage for form control it is going to be 70 let's check 80 
मार्जिन टॉप ऑफ थर्टी Well, that's all right. Now, finally, we need to style the submit button. Background red, color white. Padding top bottom 10 pixel, left right 20 pixel. Is this one? So we'll add some extra height for twenty. Just to check, great. Almost there. Now let's work on this inner column. Adding top bottom twenty pixel, left right fifty pixel. Left, right, hundred pixel. Top, bottom, fifty pixel. Let's add the color as white. Anchor tag as we are not having anchor tag, so great. So for the width and height is going to be seventy pixel. Border radius for the image is going to be fifty percent. So that is the center. Let border radius to the sky. And we'll make overflow hidden. Always you have to give this to image surely. And hundred. Not working. Why is it? So we have got height. Code and hundred percent to the image. Great. Now we can give hundred and hundred. it yes then we need margin bottom of 20 pixel okay i from the top the same way margin the paragraph then the second paragraph has font weight Of six hundred, first paragraph, second paragraph, actually we have three paragraph it says, but there is only two. Okay, it's a child. So this is the first child image box. Image box is the first child. Paragraph is the second child, and this is the third third child. So that's taking as we thought. Great. So I think we can skip this. Uh, top, bottom, left, right. Then we need a fifty percentage on, hundred percentage on left side and on right side. Great. So if you want, you can increase the.
size of flex spaces you can make it 35 and 65 not working okay based on this we can make it the adjustment I'm leaving it to you now let's work on the final footer section before that we have to remove the margin which we have added so this is going to be some tricky so we'll divide this as a first footer and this as a second footer class or id footer 1 we have container then we have column the first column and the second column the second column will have inner column the inner column will have h4 some text and then we have anchor tag or let's say paragraph some text 3 4 the same way we can make 2 3 now this is going to be tricky forget this one now let's work on this we need inner column one inner column will have inner two column this is one and again inner two column this is for p tag with font awesome icon and then we have p tag monday to friday which i'll type later on and then another p tag with phone number so likewise we have three two and three and finally we have social links let's add one more for social links social links so this should be the collection of social links fine now let me add the text and show you how does it looks so I have added all the contents if you notice for the social links I have added space don't forget that so if I see this is how it looks so let's style the footer section which is going to be tricky then we have container then we have column then we have inner column then we have inner two column great inside inner two column we have paragraphs for nth we we'll work on nth later on while designing it now let's work on this we have column colon nth child one
Paul and young child. Now let's work on young child two. Inside young child two, we have inner column, I believe. Yes. Then we have H four and paragraphs. Great. Finally, we are there. Now let's get the container and give the color background color. Let's see how does it looks. Now we we'll leave the container. No, we'll make the container. Display flex. And uh, the flex places is going to be for the first column sixty percentage. For the second column it is going to be forty. Great. Now let's work on this. Just second column, which is very easy. Display flex again. Then flex spaces. Flex space is simply the width for the columns, inner columns, which is thirty-three percentage. Then we have text align center margin top and bottom 20 pixel font weight 600 again same margin have to check for all the paragraph. Capacity is going to be 0 0.6 or grayish color for the links. Search it is not 40, I believe. Let's make it 50, 50 and check. So we'll make this 40 and let's make this as 60. Cool, we are close. Now if you want we can give padding to columns top bottom 20 pixel left right 0 top bottom 50 pixels great now let's work on the inner columns we'll make the inner column as display flex And uh, if you notice, we'll make the paragraph also display flex. And we'll make display inline. Okay, not working. We'll work on some. We'll first work on this section and we'll go for this final section the flex basis we have in a column 2 yes this is it so we have young child 1 young child 2 Let's add my padding. Now margin seems right. Top bottom level left right 20 pixel. Great. Let's add font size. Font size will add later on. 
to over here. Font size 30 pixel, 25 pixel, 15 pixel, 25 was right. Now let's add margin top. Margin top to all the inner columns. Great. Now for the first child. class to first child will have display flex align items center let's see how does it looks it's align items yes it is at the center you see let's try to decrease the font size for the paragraph sorry margin all right you see it is close but we want the opacity this is the first column Opacity 0.6. Great. We almost there. Now we are on this paragraph. We give the class social links as we inside it. So the social link is under inner column. So the container will have display flex and uh, let's see how does it looks and each paragraph will have margin right Now let's work on this using inspector which will be easy for us. We just have to work on the margin. Minus 30 pixel. Margin. Left of 20 pixel cool just copy it and paste it if I refresh this is how it looks we are close So I'll skip the final one to you. What you have to do is you have to make footer 2. It should have two columns. The first column should have 40. The second column should have 60. And uh, line height. You have to make this display flex. And uh, it is very easy similar to this one. I'm skipping it. So that's all. You can see we are almost done. We have almost completed. Except the margin and the padding and the font size need to be fixed according to the JPEG. So it will be time consuming. So I'm leaving it to you. Fine. Thank you so much for listening.